Hi, this is Nick Rowell with the Shoots Angler, and I want to talk to you about catching more steelhead. We're trying to maximize water coverage, and the best way to do that is to get in contact with your fly as far out in the river as possible. And as soon as I make that move, I create a bunch of slack in the line, and I essentially lose at least half of my swing. It's going to give you an opportunity to show your fly to more fish and hopefully catch more steelhead. Nick Rowell from Deschutes Angler and today I want to talk a little bit about something I see consistently from people who are trying to fish far out into the middle of the river with a longer cast. Something that really takes away from their, their uh, efficiency and their swing. I'll show you here, you make a cast out there, and you make your mend and you're trying to get tight to your, to your fly so you can get contact with it and so you're pulling up and reaching upstream across from your body and the further you reach up, the more that fly gets pulled in. And from here, the only place I can go is down and towards the bank. And as soon as I make that move, I create a bunch of slack in the line and I essentially lose at least half of my swing. Okay, now I wanna show you the proper way to, to do this. Basically what we're trying to do here is we're, is we're trying to maximize water coverage. And the best way to do that is to get in contact with your fly as far out in the river as possible and maintain that contact with the fly throughout the entirety of the swing. I'll show you how we do this here. Make your cast, and instead of reaching up, I'm going to reach towards the fly, and now I'm tight to the fly. I can feel everything that's happening with the fly, and now when I move my hand down and in towards the bank to let my fly continue to swing, I never lose tension with the fly. Therefore, my fly is fishing nicely throughout the entire swing. So the big key take home point here other than reaching towards your fly after it lands, is to never ever take your rod tip past perpendicular, like 90 degrees to the current. Imagine there's a wall running off your right shoulder here and you can't move that rod up past that. As soon as you do, your fly line and your fly is coming towards you, you're taking away from the amount of water you're covering. If you do this properly, you're going to be maximizing the amount of water you're covering from the middle of the river in which basically is going to give you an opportunity to show your fly to more fish and hopefully catch more steelhead.